What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete, I'm the top player in Risk Global Domination. A daily release on YouTube, both on Free Pete and the Kill Pete Strategy. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Playing as blue, we're in the second seat, and the game is Europe Advanced Progressive Capital. It's okay. Bottom left could be mine. Magenta probably. Magenta almost certainly caps here. Um, could I block? Maybe I put my cap next to it to block, and then I have a two point. I actually don't hate this play. <laughs> what if they do it anyway? I think this is better. This is more interesting. The midpoint. Who sees that? Orange and black see that. Curious to see where black caps. We don't see the orange cap. Do we see red? These are the risk meta settings, folks. If you're new to the game, Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals, Auto 60 with progressive cards, balance with size. Fog lives are on, portals lines are on. We're off, we have an automated bot. Green is inside the pocket. So I bet you, I bet you green and magenta go to war. I take turn one to Neric, turn two Italy. Okay, black takes on the other side of me. Cool, he sees me, I see him. Okay, magenta bucks. <laughs> bucks expectation and caps in. Which is going to be bad for black. Uh, three rules in this game. <laughs> At least they're my rules. Is rule number one, don't cap a quarters. Rule number two, don't cap an Iceland. Rule number three, put troops on your capitals. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Magenta has failed rule number two, and they are going to lose the game. Tell me you don't know how to play without telling me you don't know how to play. It's going to be that. No. We just take the Eric Elm, so we don't need to rush. What's the hurry? We're going to take Italy turn two. Black sees what I'm trying to do. Don't expect black to break. Don't expect red to break either. Red's going to go pop, pop, and then finish the plus eight next turn. Cool. Red's playing very slow. Does green know? No, the only person who knows... Um, never mind, Magenta's not there. Green's in a great way, I think. Could have tried to roll their cap turn one. Didn't. Maybe I can antagonize them? <laughs> They're not going to be able to hit my three. Aside from which that three is rolling out. Seven to the six to the five. And we don't see 5e3. Certainly not. Get bad dice. Get bad dice. Puts on cap. Yeah, puts on cap. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to fortify off cap. Cool. We have an eight stack on cap. If I let green hold that, then they go this way. Magenta gave up a glorious, glorious position for Iceland. Okay. Oh, black has Italy. Maybe black knows Magenta's in Iceland. Okay, black takes Italy. That means nobody's here. Yeah, they're not investing in it at all. They invested their corner. Wow. Okay, Magenta, you really, really missed an opportunity here, my friend. Okay, then nobody's here. Do I take Germany then? Maybe I work on Germany and see what's up. No reason not to. Or, or I realize that there's nobody on this side of the board and start taking Orient. Um, problem is I don't have a ton of... Whoa, Orange, why? Whoa. What the fuck? Okay, Orange didn't put any troops on their capital. Okay. Orange didn't put any troops on their capital. Holy shit. 
they're providing a serious contest for ooh, all sorts of ways I could play this. Um, where do we think orange capped? I bet you orange capped out here. They're either in Spain or they're in this corner. Um, we can take the wait and see approach. Kind of claim it. And black's in there as well. Fine by me. Not sure what black's up to. Okay. Red now almost <coughs> has that plus eight for sure. They don't put quite enough troops on. Depends on what's in Gascony. Or get what's in the okay, they don't attack properly. Not Gascony. Sevastopol is the name of the territory. Okay. So green is going to be upset by Orange's decision to put troops into his pocket instead of taking their own. This makes no fucking sense. So we're seeing terrible play by Orange, terrible play by Magenta. Our players, on that note, General Ban, 21774 from Canada. Never mind, Orange took their first turn. I'm, I'm doing it wrong. So they took Spain and now they're putting it in Africa. They don't yet realize, I see, Orange doesn't yet realize where the green cap is. Okay, I'm turn. I'm uh, position two in the third position. Ebi Soma from an unspecified location playing as red, not taking their bonus quickly enough. In the third seat is Spongy Demigod two two seven from Spain, who is basically getting fucked over by Orange. In position five, the host of the game is General the Wolf two seven two from Holy C. Playing as black, and in the ultimate seat is General Higuchi one 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 two one from Sweden who is really bad in Captain Iceland. Black took a second plus five. I don't have a second bonus. I guess I take this. Black's not giving me any options. He's captain on a plus four. I, I'm hoping that Magenta creates a problem. Turns my lights out there is a bit upsetting. Yeah. So now we just remove Magenta from this side of the board completely. Yeah. You don't get to hold that now. Because that's where I need to expand into. I wonder how green addresses the sedge. Hopefully I see it with the three. Orange attacks down, steals the green capital. One. And we won't see the cap switch until the start of the next turn. Did they get a roll? Was it one for the ages? No, it doesn't look like they rolled the cap yet. All right, well, we take a second plus four. We're going to need a second plus four. This also is going to force Magenta to use troops. Um, uh, adjacent to their bonus. Oh, five there. I just want to kind of get more material on Orient. Okay, and Red finally takes the plus eight. I want Magenta to impact Black very soon. I want that. Somehow Black knows they're back there. Because you would have figured that this is actually a noob corner cap, but he hasn't checked. He took Italy to Germany instead. That seems like odd play for the Black player, to, to leave people behind you. But he's trusting that I know how to play, which so far I'm, you know, not accosting this man, but it looks like he's a plus four and a plus five. I have two plus four, should be fine. We're expecting red to go like this, but instead red looks like they're disconnecting. If red disconnects, that's really bad for me. I lose both my bonuses. Um, and they have all their material right next to me, but it looks like they're going to get a card. And finish the bono. Okay, red has a plus eight. Let's say, well played. Thanks. I have a plus eight, they have a plus eight. We happy. I also see nobody is in this section. Green. What on earth would green be doing right now? Okay. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. You've closed off your cap, yes. They remove magenta from the piece of the board. Oh God. 
Okay, sky is 20 already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, plus his match. Okay, his France as well. Okay, cool. Good for black. Where's it going? Now he opens magenta. Okay, good. That was good. We wanted that to happen. Magenta has nowhere to go but into black, so at least that's a speed bump for black while I go and I take the other side of the board. One hit. Two hit. You gotta hit a lot of black. Three hit. Four hit. Okay. Maybe they just took noob corner. Black still gets 20 a turn. In that case, we want to make sure that black is not over here. Then. Orange starts with 10. Okay. So orange is Spain, and they're putting material here. Green is really, really, really on the ropes. And we are going to see green lose their capital. Hasn't happened yet. Green has like... They have like eight troops on their cap. Could almost steal it now, but I don't... I want orange to get it, I think. You know what, this piece of the board instead. If green is in Africa there, I let them have it. They are. Cool. I, I on purpose don't break him. I know he has a bonus. He needs a bonus to resist orange. Does anything about that? Okay, red holds a plus eight. Definitely doesn't break me. I'm allowing them to get away with that three. Nobody got three. Yeah, red plays the way I expected them to play. So my expectation for green is that they're going to chip at orange, and then orange will eventually beat them. Then I'll get their kill because nobody knows. Well, actually, everyone will know they're there. Um, but they might not necessarily be able to get there. Um, how do we play this? Okay, so red has this now, almost for sure. Green starts with a little bit of a bump. They're probably going to get dead last, unfortunately. If you hit me, you're dumb. I'm letting you hold a bonus. He's just not putting enough troops on his capital. Okay. So green fails rule number three. Put troops on your capital. All right, black only gets 11. Good, good. I knew Magenta would attack the shit out of you. You didn't realize Magenta was dumb in Captain Iceland. I saw that. Now I take Orient and, sta and Cap Stack. Can't wait to see the Cap Switch. All right. Would suck if Orange puts troops here. I don't think they do. Does Orange have North Africa? No, right? That's where Green took their card. Eleven. Yeah, they don't have North Africa yet. But they can pressure the Green cap out of existence. Orange going to be in a really good position long term. Green's going to die. Then Magenta's going to die. Then we're going to be a four-player game. Do I do better with the Green cap? I do better with the green kill, I think. Okay, we haven't seen the cap switch yet. Pop magenta. Pop orange. That all goes to capital. Cool. So I have a really, really good situation with red. Red finish Russia. Soft to red. Soft to black on this line. Super soft to green, but green is playing properly as if they would like me to enable them to hold their bonus. And green is cap stacking, taking cards here where I figure eventually... Um, Orange just gets big enough to eat him. wonder where Orange's cap is. 
It is Gascony. How to black it plus 20, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Plus their natural. That's what it was. They didn't have France. They had Scandinavia. Cool. Black starts with 11. Yeah, black now has a problem. And that problem is magenta. I've negotiated three very, very nice bonuses for myself. Early game has gone swimmingly. Now we start to switch to the mid game. We start to see the cards come in. Okay, 16 for orange. They go for a green kill? We would see that. We'd first see the cap switch, and then we would see them get to this two. Thinking about it, so that's gets the four. It's going to be expensive, but it's going to be good for your position long term. So I think we do. If, if we're orange, I think we kill green. And I think we've been, if we're orange, we're planning on killing green for a number of turns. Um, but they know that I've prevented that from happening. Don't see the cap switch. All right, green's going to set. He's going to live to set. We set. We take the six. My best card is on black, unfortunately. Um, I want to keep a 10 there that nobody sees. Yeah, let's fuck over black. 22 for red. Red hopefully has cards on the top line. Also fucks over black. He sets. <laughs> 50 on cap is good. You have an easy card as red. Did I not give red a card? Should have maybe moved one over. Okay, red took a card at the top. Green sets. Green should still be worried about defending their capital from orange. Don't put troops there. Those troops are going to get you killed. You need all of your troops on your capital. If, if I was going to take that, I would have taken it already. Okay. Green is dumb, and he's going to die. I let you have a bonus. That was definitely, definitely incorrect. You, if you're green, you never hit me, and you don't stack in Egypt. You, you stack on your capital. I can, I can address this very easily now. Keep you off bonus forever. Black sets. They are working on new corner. Magenta, yeah, magenta's on Iceland. Black and magenta are, are now in a war of attrition. They second the 15. I'm just going to car block green here and push them into orange. Orange's cards are on black in Sardinia or in France. If green is set on three, it fucks up my plan. Makes sense to car block this guy? Or does it make sense to... 
try and trade with him. No, I think it makes sense to carve with this guy. Just get him out of our concern. Now you don't have anything, and you won't be getting cards on me. You're dumb, you shouldn't have hit me. Okay. Red do a bit. I gave Red a card here. So if Red wants to trade with me in pressure, they can. That's friendly to Red. They're also getting... They're making away like a fucking bandit, right? Me and Red getting a ton of troops. They're pressuring this line around the top. Me and Red are absolutely bosom buddies this game. Really bad sitch for black. Yeah, now you have nothing green. I was enabling you to get extra troops. You definitely don't poke the bear like that. Yeah, now I force you into orange. Breaking orange. But orange's attention is split, right? Orange doesn't have a position here. They maybe kill green, though. We lose the kill guard. Orange can set, kill green set. That is on the table. Black has anything left? Ten troops. They have Italy. Black was able to hold Italy. I think I don't let black have anything. Positionally, it doesn't make any sense. Two, three, four, five. Who's he hitting? Who's he hitting? I would love to know. He could be anyone, right? Black's totally surrounded. He's surrounded. Okay, he came out of Scandi. He hit, he hit red and retook Scandi. Okay. Did he break Russia? Magenta just starts with seven. Yeah, Magenta's doing that. I'm a noob in the noob corner thing, and I'm going to die. Orange doesn't get 16 because they got broke, right? Yeah, 11. That was green's card. That gets the 25. Do we see green die? I'm expecting orange to kill green by now. Caps are not switching. Nope. Okay, they do. They took... They didn't finish the kill. They didn't finish the kill. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. They probably guarded it, though, right? <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> Hundred percent, but just barely. Can I remove them from the pocket, perhaps? Oh, there's an 11. Nice. Well, we know Orange doesn't have cards. Their stack isn't open in the main line. All of this game still hinges on a uh, good relationship with Red, but so far we've seen it. Is this where red goes bad? I don't think 10 before. I do have a set on three, which is nice. It's all guarding. Red is patient. Yes. Red trades in the spot I would like them to trade in. Well fucking played. Okay, now I have to face wrath from black, probably. Does black know how weak orange is? Because orange spent a lot of troops on that. Black still has magenta behind them is the problem. Here's where black goes into me. No, they stop. Black wants peace on this front. 
I will give it to them for now. But then red can't. Red won't have cards. Yeah, I actually don't think there's a ton of reason for me to go into black. What does orange do? Does orange exhaust their 11? I hope they attack up. There's no sense in you trying to fight for Africa. You won't have it. This is a waste of troops. Go up. Ah, this is a waste of troops, man. There's You can't get it, right? There's no way you're going to get Africa. You might as well deal with black. Trading zone? Trading zone's okay as well. Trading zone's okay as well, but where does... Um... Red get the card. You know what? I let red be the bad guy. I let red be the bad guy. I let red break black. Now, this is the play. Red will probably, maybe they take a card on me, but I think they'll, they'll hit black. Because I'm stronger. They see that I'm stronger. They know that I'm stronger. We have a better relationship. They second the 35. I had a set on three. I didn't need it. What a great position. I love this. I'm expecting black to um, maybe set kill magenta set, depending on how big magenta is. We definitely don't want magenta to be alive after this turn cycle because they've gone to five. But how many troops do they put on capital? Probably all, right? Probably all magenta's troops on their capital. 40 coming in for black. Do we lose Magenta? No, Magenta lives to trade. Oh, the noob in the noob corner. I love it. Okay, so Magenta gets the... Magenta is a ape with a machine gun. He's just trading, probably now off a locked capital. Okay, so Magenta might get a higher placement just because they... Uh, We just set. Ooh, what are we going to do with that? Put on your cap if you're smart. <laughs> That's a lot of troops in the pocket off cap. <laughs> Orange, you don't realize. <laughs> you don't realize that the only reason I wanted you there was to trade with me. Now you have no cards, no additional position. But we're fine at five. I'm not expecting to lose. I think Black and I have an understanding now. If I don't fuck with him, you won't fuck with me, but I have to fuck with him pretty soon. Orange also going to fuck with him, though, because Orange won't have cards. So Orange's cards are now here. And I don't guard at all. Right? I'm going to let all of this black material guard for me, and if Orange has the audacity to try and break, I still have fucking all my troops. They can't get further than this is the thing. What did black start with? 16. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, he doesn't have Scandi. Is these two, Germany and Italy. Holy Roman Empire type thing. All right. What do you do, sir? What do you do, General Ban? You come in, rip roaring. You, gotta, you still got a big cap stack. I'm going to obliterate that and open my cap in the process. I will kill you. Yes. Ah, oh, with a little piddly eight. Yeah. Not good for black. Is good for me. All right. Love this. All right, so what do we need on this bottom? Like 50 troops? Do 
keep our cap open. Stay nice with black. Wrestle train with black up in Scandi, we assume. Yeah, red playing super good, man. Love that for red. I really like how my progress. So I played, in my opinion, I played the early game and the mid game very well. And now we go into the late game and this late game can go forever because there's still five people alive. So kills are getting less and less profitable as we go. I don't have any sense of the size of magenta. Um, so my questions are, yeah, black's going to give orange cards there. My questions are, how much of orange is left? And when is the right time to kill them? I have a set on three again. Wow. Wow. It's probably worth it to kill orange on three cards just because they hate my guts. Maybe it makes more sense to kill magenta, though. That's how I want to play it. I want to kill magenta. Do both. Why not? Here's what we do. We don't break the line. We'll open the black line. Over there. Probably should just put all of our troops on our main cap. We get the magenta kill. Don't cap in Iceland, folks. By the by, don't do it. It's dumb every time you do it. Don't do it. Um, I'm at least what I'm what I'm demonstrating right now is how you push your advantage if you're holding a lot of board. This is how you get get these games to not stalemate, right? You push and you push and you push and you kill people before it settles. Um, and if you're not an advantage, then you have to do that bullshit cap stacking thing. But like, I like my play style is to get advantage. Oh, red goes bad here. Okay. The stalemate's the game. Interesting choice, interesting moment. All right, it's a steal. It's a steal that I can't reciprocate. Well, I mean, I can, though. I'm still going to have a shitload of troops. Black do. Black surely understands that I killed magenta. Um, maybe black kills orange. He sees it. Takes the cap. I should have just fortified everything off. Or leaves the cap locked. Takes the cap. Huh. Good roll. All right. Well, now we are getting attacked from both sides, so we cannot defend that, right? There's no way to defend that. You're going to lose. So what we do is we switch to the cap stacking style, which does stalemate the game. So if these guys let me stay big another turn, I would have killed Orange, and then there would have been a le one less player in the stalemate. I can't resist both of my opponents, so... Hey, orange takes the 80. Where does that go? It goes down and around. Try and take the green cap back. You could, but that's all your troops. Let's see if he does. He sees the odds. He says, nope. All right, orange is the easiest card block in the world. Cool. All right, so I have nothing. Um, I 
I'm gonna probably give up that bottom cap. I wonder. Yeah, I think I do. I'm gonna lose it. Red's not gonna stop, right? Red's gonna go around the bottom now. No reason for Red to stop. No reason for Red to let me have anything, right? He's gone bad. I didn't retaliate. He's switching to trade. Interesting. I can hang out in the center of the map and take cards. Let's see how long it takes before someone opens that capital. I'm just going to generate extra fucking troops for free. Maybe I'll put the extra troops on it. Do I have a set? We do have a set here. Black's going around into red. No, black's retaking. Red's still letting me earn a bit. But for how long? Orange gonna hit my four. That's Orange's card. Orange hates me. I feel like Orange played their, their I feel like Orange played their seat very badly. Right? They could have just had a map. First of all, who knows where they capped? It's not in Gascony, so it's one of these two, or even worse. Maybe they capped in the corner. Um so I was saying Orange probably could have fucking had that magenta kill when Magenta went to five cards, but yeah, they hit my four for sure. And keep going. Are we trading now? No, no reason to let me have six. I'm going to take the cap, right? Split. Take the cap. Done. Open the cap. <laughs> love you. I lo love you. Okay, we set. Like fucking not much, right? Like a, like a norm. <sighs> I don't want to put a nominal. You know what? I put a nominal. I put like 20 troops. I'm willing to risk 20 troops on this fucking play. Um, we're at 200 cap. We're feeling good. I'll give Orange a card. Yeah, red checks my cap. Or red just steals another piece of the board from me. We'll be facing no resistance. Oh, cool. Okay. It's a 20 cap. Red understands there's a cap there now, and he fortifies a huge stack to it. No. Okay, cool. So that cap is now open. We have an ancillary cap. We're hopefully not going to lose it to orange. Red has so much fucking board, but that's no longer my problem. because I got hit by multiple opponents at the same time. So I have to, I, I have to switch to hunkering down, which I don't like to do, right? Um, ooh, hello. Black just wants the bottom cap. Cool, okay, that's fine. No, he wants, <laughs> he wants Italy. But, but Black, you, you surely understand that, um, you surely understand that Orange has no cards, right? Yeah, well, that 10 goes to capital then. Cost you like fucking 20 troops, you asshole. Like, what the fuck? Give me something. You're stealing shit from me. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. And Red takes a 95. Ooh, great. Okay. All yours. All yours. Love that. Ha! Did he lose 31 on a 41 cap? Wow. Okay. Well. <laughs> Would you look at that? Red still has like a hundred troops here. Black gives orange a card. 
How big do we think Orange Capital is? I don't care. I can just take cards and pass. So we now enter the stalemate stage. My opponents decided that they were not going to trust me to go negative on kills and advance the game state. So I will enjoy watching them do so in a worse way. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, peace turn. Set. Do I set? Yeah, I set. I set. I'm at risk of death now. Don't care about my bonuses. I'll let these guys jockey for position. Get the sense that they're not very good. Keep my cap lines open. So red is like an intermediate expert, right? They knew how to wait to go bad, um, but they don't give me anything. So red is expanding linearly like an intermediate expert would, um, and they're trying to shore up like they're guarding a plus four. You know what I mean? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Straight up. At this point, you have a seven, an eight, a six, Right, a three, my cap, my last cap, another six. Like, there's no reason for you to care about this. So he has too many off cap stacks. If I knew red was going to go bad, I would play differently. Uh, orange sets gets the one of five. Orange is also in take card and pass mode. No, okay, they're going to go around. Now they're going to break. Yeah, now they're going to break red. Cool. Yeah, Orange is obsessed with North Africa for some reason. And there's eight troops. There's another seven. <laughs> when you're okay, so the lesson for this game is when your opponent is big and they're using their size to go negative for kills right he's gonna know he's gonna break up this um let them let them yeah nice
Well, if I ever get at risk of being card blocked, then I probably pump it into red. So far, so good. Play the patience game. Watch these guys jockey for position. Past the point where we need the bonuses. Nobody's addressing red. It's never going to be able to punch through a fucking 300 cap. Ooh, another set on three. Okay. Black takes the 115. Yeah, black's really insisting on Italy, but that's no... There's Why don't you just... If you're black, why don't you just card block orange then, dumbass? <laughs> like, surely you understand orange has no other cards, and if you stop giving them cards... Let's see how big Orange's cap is. 300 cap. Yeah. Orange and I are the exact same size. Orange might see that as friendly, they might see that as unfriendly, we don't know. Probably should have set before opening it. Orange should see it as friendly. I want chaos. I want him to help me now. Red is trading with black, I assume. We don't know where. Probably the top. The time for kills is over. Now kills will result in players going very, very negative. So the only thing I'm doing is focusing on not getting card blocked. I'm in an okay spot to not get card blocked. Yes. Black had the orange card block very easily too, and he didn't take it. Orange closes off his cap line. Yes. Orange, you suck. All right, useless player. Now we understand what we're dealing with, folks. Well, maybe black and red work together? We'll see. I mean, with red getting 52. Yeah, this is very, like, very sort of textbook, um, I'm new to risk type guarding. But the reason it works is he's slow and patient, right? He only betrayed once. It was decisive, right? There will be no forgiveness, too. If I ever uh, try and sue for peace with Red, he will betray again. So there's no no sense in trying to work with this guy a second time. Maybe I pump a, a whole trade into him. I punch through his bullshit. That'll be fun. Watch him slowly retake. Because, like, he took his bonus so badly in the open. I don't know why I'm favorable to black, but I am. Black's retaking makes sense. The betrayal of red was just at the wrong time. Like, red and I would have easily gone first. And second, we would have cleaned this game. It would have been over by now, right? So I think I said it at the time when he hit me. was like, ah, the stalemate's the game. Okay, four player stalemate better than six. But people do not know how to allow snowballs to occur and just enable. And then get into a fair 1v1. Okay, so orange is here. Come on, orange. Big stack, 62. <laughs> he just still, he wants Italy. He's like, please, let me have something. Please. I respect it. Yeah, next set I think I'd pump into red just because... Send a message. It's not the right message, though.
135? What I need, I need Orange to get pissed and play badly. It's a lot of attacks. Nothing left for me to hit. Did you just steal another bonus? Good game. This is a fun one. Oh, good question. Um, Q&A question from Larry. Does Pete explain why it's called the Noob Corner in any of his videos? Does he use a video that I can watch on it? Here is why the Noob Corner is called the Noob Corner. Independent of Blizzards. It is an island bonus that is defensible from two positions, worth plus three and plus two. Ooh, 34. Black is insisting to Orange to not take Italy, but Black is not card blocking them. Oh my lord. All right, so it just, it, it catches your eye because it's a separate piece of the map. We often see people try to hide their cap in Iceland, capping in Iceland, doing stupid shit. The, the situation is, um, visually, it's a side piece of the map, right? It really... It stands out. And if a noob looks at it, it's like, well, it's a plus three. It's really easy to defend. All I have to do is defend it from two positions. But then one of the things that we know in Risk is because it's a free-for-all game, um, something that's good in a vacuum is often bad in contact. So, for example, the Australia problem, right, on classic map. Australia is good in a vacuum, but it's good, not great. It's only worth plus two, but you can defend it from one position. Australia is the noob corner of the classic map. This map has one. It's worth plus five. It's defensible from two positions. Um, and the reason this is significant is if you have two noobs in the same game and they think the same way, they find themselves there and they fight over it. And as soon as you're fighting over any bonuses in this game, you're losing. Black do anything with this capital. Black's not trying to resist red either. So we're going to be in a situation where red's going to be massive. Um, but I can trade with black off of our capitals forever. I would assume orange gets card blocked, but black doesn't appear to know how. So maybe this just becomes an outlast sort of situation. I don't know who coined the phrase noob corner. Um, definitely wasn't me. I might have been, but I don't think it was me. Um... You guys can go back and check, right? We have, we have video evidence. We have chronological evidence. So I know JJ uses the term a lot. I know all of you use the term a lot. I, I don't know who coined the phrase originally, but um, that basically explains it, right? A piece of the map that's easy to defend that um, newer players will look at and go, that's where I want to hang out. And as soon as they do, um, other newer players have the same idea, right? And as soon as you're fighting over any piece of the map, good or bad, it becomes bad. Red doesn't actually see my capital, important to note. Hungary attacks it this way, so this 50 doesn't see me. He doesn't know how big I am. We're all stalemated now. We're not doing much. So Red's expecting me to let him hold, but he's not actually doing anything with his troops. At least Orange is trying to fight. Yeah, Orange is going to punch. Orange will not stop on Italy. He wants... Okay, never mind. He stopped. Orange is done. Can we car block this fucking guy? No. You know why we don't? We don't car block this guy because then I'm next. Uh, 
where it has a big old capital. Got a question from uh, DNT MNDKK. Hi, Pete. Hello. Have you ever partnered up with a noob for the first and second position? Give just giving them the win. Just curious because when I first started, someone did that for me. I still remember it to this day. I was even still using camera animations back then. Um, I never, I mean, it's happened, but I don't give people wins usually. Um, usually what happens is, oh, he's going in. He's killing. He's killing Orange. Black is killing Orange. Wow. Wow. Orange is dying. Black goes so negative on this play. Black goes so negative on this play. This sucks. The balance of the game is broken. Okay. He didn't take the cap. He just smacked him. He says, stop it. Well, where, you, where the fuck do you think this guy's going to take cards? He hit all of Spain. He says, here are your cards. Ooh, this doesn't end well for black or orange, I don't think. I don't think this ends well. Uh-huh. Please don't sue me. <laughs> All right, well, at least I get his kill. Eat, eat dick. <laughs> eat my fucking balls. All right, we can't afford two capitals. We are in a three-player game. Good for you, sir. He sues me instead. Good for you. Happy for you. Russell didn't see that. <laughs> Fuck you, Orange. <laughs> Feeds me his own fucking kill. Love that. Got a really bad roll, too. Ah, okay. Black's going to check the pocket. And I give it to him for free. All right. Let's see if I can work with Black. Or if Black just lets Red kill us. So this this is now on you, Black. Okay, he's splitting. Here's where Red's new brain goes. Black holds the whole map. I should start hitting him. I have the biggest cap on the board. This is very important. These guys both hold the entire rest of the board. I have nothing. My only job right now, don't be card blocked. I have another set on three. Don't be card blocked. Yeah, red is down to trade with black. So there's no real action coming from either of these guys. Maybe one of the bots? But I don't think so. I don't think they suddenly and magically learn how to card block. One, two, three. Yes, black sitting red. Only three. Hmm. Yeah, we get a joker. All right, sick. Trying to hang on to that joker. Yeah, I don't really give wins, right? If a player beats me in a 1v1, fair enough. Sometimes it's skill, sometimes it's luck. Um, sometimes it's the other circumstances that occur in the game. But 
not really my style to not win games, right? Well, the, the way I gift wins is not trying to gift someone a win, but trying to deny someone else the win, right? I, I'm vindictive. So in this scenario, if I were to sue into black, it wouldn't be to gift red the win. It would be to punish black, right? It's negative usually. Goes into red. Yes, goes into red. Thank you. Good. These guys will hit each other for a while. Yeah, I don't think you guys are grandmasters. Good. He is really punishing red. So red's slow. Red's going to retake a bunch. Takes the 185 train. Nice. Red is in Black's pocket. We got war. We also have four cap cards, which is the most important thing to have right now. Our opponents are hitting each other, and we have four cap cards. We have the largest cap on the board. We have a joker. Okay. It looks like we are in good shape this game. Very interesting question. Okay. Um, it's like you ever give someone a win. The way I see diplomacy in these games is I'm happy to work with you. I'm happy to negotiate with you. I'm happy to offer you whatever I can do. Give you second. <laughs> and I will make no errors about um, gifting anyone in the win ever, right? I will, however, try and make someone lose. The black stopped attacking. Mean. I'll help. Fuck red. Red didn't even retake anything. Yeah. Red's slow. I'm going to beat on him with black. Fucking beat on you now. Betrayer. You should have gotten second. I think now you might get third. You see black him a bunch. <laughs> no. Don't worry, black. I'm going to help you. I'm going to hit this guy. One. Ah. Let's see if black wants to help.
Yeah. Now we troll this asshole. So that's 22. I need your help though, Black. Make him quit. Make more than a card. Work the body. Yes. Hmm. Black isn't actually doing shit. We can team on him. I'm down to team on him. I don't think Black is. Good game, Red. The patience game sucks. It takes so long. Oh man, he put like nothing on that capital. Is he gonna sue me? Yeah, sue me, sue me, sue me. That's great. Sue me, sue me. Yes, yeah, sue me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good shit. Well played. Well played. He feeds me to black. That kills me here. Good. That was actually a really good play. If black takes it. Yeah, black takes it. Black kills me. Sets again. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Good shit. Okay. Okay. Um, red is a expert. Black might be a master. Neither of these guys are grandmasters. Guaranteed. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Bingo. Good, good job, guys. Well fucking played. Good job. Uh, we got three experts, a novice and an intermediate. Um, capping in Iceland. There you have it, folks. That was fun.